Hello and welcome to this serverless learn course. In this course, we'll be looking at front end development and how it can interact with serverless technologies and the serverless framework. My name is Fernando Medina Cori, and currently I work as a solutions architect here at Serverless Inc. That means I help customers and clients develop their serverless applications and learn how to use things like the serverless framework and many of the technologies that it integrates with. In previous roles, I've worked as a cloud architect and a data engineer. But for right now, you can think of me just as a helpful hand getting started using some of these technologies. So let's take a quick look at an outline of what we'll be doing in this course. Now, first, we're just gonna go over some of these basics and take a look at this outline. We're also gonna see if you're the intended audience for this course, just to make sure that you're not wasting your time here. Now, after that, we'll take a look at what serverless front ends are really briefly, just so we have a definition. And then we'll go through tools that we might use to create serverless front ends and how those are actually classified and considered. Then we'll see how we can deploy websites with serverless components, rapidly creating a website inside of AWS with everything from an SSL certificate to a CloudFront distribution, all the way through a custom domain name. Now, in addition to this method, we'll take a look at an alternate method of deploying our serverless front ends using serverless framework plugins. Now, when we do this, we're also potentially gonna manually need to configure things like SSL, a CloudFront distribution, and a custom domain. Now, it's good to know how some of that works in the background sometimes, but if you're more interested in a really fast and easy way to do this, I definitely suggest focusing on the component section. Now, this also brings up a point where if there's any particular part of this course that you don't really feel like it's gonna be worthwhile, feel free to skip it and come back to it later if you think you can use it. Now, at the very end of this course, we'll also take a look at how to seamlessly add APIs to your front ends. Now, this can become pretty useful if you're building out your front end applications and you suddenly want to add a persistence layer of a database table or something else that can help you use this application more effectively and I'll show you how to start to do that process with the serverless framework. So let's think about whether or not you're the intended audience for this course. If you're a front-end developer, there's a good chance that you're on your way to being this audience. It's also possible if you're a full-stack engineer or some other sort of software engineer that deals with front-end development, this could be a good start for you. Now, in this course, I'm gonna assume that you have a basic understanding of the serverless framework and serverless in general. But if you don't, don't worry. There's other content here on Serverless Learn that can help you get this basic understanding right away and then come back to this course when you're ready. Now you can pick pieces of this content out just to familiarize yourself with the basics and then come right back here to deploy your front-end application. Now, next up, if you're interested in deploying your own front-end application, this is gonna be a good spot for you because we're gonna go through at least two methods of how to do this so that you can spin things up right away in a very effective website. Now, in addition to this final characteristic, you're also gonna maybe be considering adding some sort of interactive functionality with APIs into your application, because towards the end, that is something we'll be doing. So now that you know whether or not you might be a good fit for this particular course, I hope to see you in the next video.